Now to Capitol Hill. There have been few clear signs of progress in the so-called super committee's efforts to cut more than a trillion dollars from the budget, but the clock continues to tick. NewsHour congressional correspondent Kwame Holman has our report. With a Thanksgiving deadline drawing ever closer, the Deficit Super Committee held its first public session in a month. Well, I thank the uh, co-chair. But Republican Congressman Jeb Henserling of Texas, a committee co-chair, made clear just how tough the job is. The challenge before us remains that we must find quality health care solutions, quality retirement security solutions for our nation at a cost that does not compromise our national security, does not compromise job growth in our economy, and does not mortgage our children's future. The day's most significant development may have come from behind closed doors. It was widely reported that committee Democrats have proposed two and a half to three trillion dollars in deficit reductions over ten years through a mix of spending cuts and tax increases. They would include between 200 and 300 billion dollars in new stimulus spending and at least 400 billion dollars in Medicare entitlement savings, half from benefit cuts, the other half in cuts to health care providers. The issue of what to do about entitlements like Medicare was fodder at today's hearing for the head of the Congressional Budget Office, Douglas Elmendorf. Entitlement programs, mandatory spending is a growing share of federal outlays, uh, and in some cases growing rather rapidly. And without addressing uh, that path of spending, it would be extremely difficult to put the budget on a sustainable path. But outside the hearing, Democrats at a Capitol rally underscored the political risk of any changes to Medicare. Hands off Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. And Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky of Illinois said there are ways to save money without cutting benefits. People during their working lives put money into Medicare. All of that comes out of their Social Security uh, benefit, the, the premium for, for Medicare, plus they pay co-payments. The very idea that we would not touch a hair on the head of millionaires or billionaires and yet cut benefits for older Americans is really a moral issue. In all, the committee is supposed to find at least one and a half trillion dollars in deficit savings over 10 years and make its recommendation by November 23rd for an up or down vote in the House and Senate. Failure to propose a deal or to win congressional approval will trigger $1.2 trillion in automatic spending cuts. Half of those cuts would come in defense spending. But Defense Secretary Leon Panetta warned against any such mandate at a Senate hearing last month. If we pull that trigger, would we be shooting ourselves in the foot? We'd be shooting ourselves in the head. The Super Committee was created as part of last summer's debt ceiling compromise to avoid a government default. In its two-month existence, committee members have chosen to keep their negotiations behind closed doors. That's led to uneasiness about where the committee will come out on spending cuts and revenues, and even whether it can reach a deal at all. Congressman Cliff Stearns is a Republican from Florida. I understand uh, that they're trying to meet recently to try and come up with a solution, but I'm a little bit pessimistic because it's taken so long. While analyst Norm Ornstein at the American Enterprise Institute is more optimistic. We've got two potential deals here. One is they do what their mandate is. That's about $1.2 trillion in budget cuts. Another is they go for the stars a four trillion dollar overall grand bargain. Whatever the figure, Ornstein says the two parties have to make some progress now, even if the, the final bargaining goes down to the wire. This is an end game. End game negotiations go right to the end. That's November 23rd. But you can't wait to do all the details if you're going to do some kind of significant deficit reduction plan. Uh, you've got to get a lot of it in place and then cut your deal, if you can reach one, right at the 11th hour. This joint committee stands adjourned. Thank you, In the meantime, the committee will continue behind-the-scenes negotiations. Its next public hearing is scheduled for November 1st.